Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk. Hi, we're going to be reviewing Pirates of the Caribbean by Stern Pinball today on location at Direct Bar 812 in Southern Indiana. Please look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video. And let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, is Pirates of the Caribbean by Stern, a underrated pinball machine. Yeah, I'd say it's it's underrated. It's actually not a bad play. As you can tell, we have a traditional flipper gap on this machine, traditional layout in lane right left, out lane left right. Modes to the middle, so of course complete your compass, which is uh, all pirates completed, Port Royale, crack and destroy, jack the monkey, ship sunk, sword fight, etc., etc. As you notice, fight with Davy Jones going up through the center to the ship. You fill those out just like you would uh, the second the second ramp, uh, the one filled out with Jack, and of course Key, which is the treasure chest. And at the top, as you see, there's a kick out to the middle, which will drop down to your pop bumpers, and a upper play field, which will either divert down to your play field or come out and exit have a trail left in lane. Uh, targets to the left. You have a lane going around to the back. You have a ramp, which is. Uh, which is Port Royale, which is lit up to the left, flashing red. Now we'll drop out to the top behind the uh, ship and right down the middle. So that's a dead man shot is what I call that. There you go, so it goes down to a spinner to the back. There we go, drops back down behind the ship, exit out, going into the treasure chest, kicks out to the back of it. See if we could hit it right up the middle here. There we go. So there's Liar's Dice. Uh, theme is Pirates of the Caribbean. Who doesn't like Pirates of the Caribbean? It's a, it's actually a, a very good movie series. Callouts are decent. They obviously could be better. I feel like it's a little lackluster for what it is. Playfield art could be absolutely better. But I get what they were shooting for. They do have toys on this machine, which is obviously worth it. You got the chest, you got the boat back there rocking. Be sure you can handle all that treasure. So replayability, you know, not bad. I would say it's average for a replayability of this machine. Fun factor is actually decent. Artwork, not my favorite. Call outs, not necessarily there. So, you know, lackluster. You know, really, if we rate this machine, I'd probably say it's roughly an 8.6 out of 10 at this point. Uh, but anyway, I'm sticking to that, 8.6. Anyway, look for our written review underneath the description of our YouTube video, uh, as well as like and follow us on our social media content. Anyway, thank you again for watching today. Till next time, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, signing off.